What's up everybody? Today's lesson is on solving one-step equations with rational numbers. It's a fancy math way of saying we're solving one-step equations with fractions and decimals. The main thing we got to know when solving equations is what we call inverse operations. Inverse meaning operations that undo one another or are opposites of one another. The inverse of addition is subtraction and the inverse of multiplication is division or vice versa. We solve algebraic equations by doing the inverse operation of whatever's happening in the equation. I'm going to do a quick, simple example to show how the inverse operation applies and how we represent what we call the law of equality. Here we have a simple addition sentence, 5 plus 3 equals 8. The inverse of addition is subtraction, so I'm going to subtract 3 to get rid of the plus 3. And the key here is that whatever I do on one side of the equal sign, I must do to the other side of the equal sign. So I subtract 3 from the 8, and that leaves us with 5 equals 5, thus showing the law of equality. We're going to do four examples of solving one-step equations, one for each operation. Let's look at our first one. Here we have x plus 1 half equals 3 fourths. First, we must identify what operation is happening, and we see that it's an addition equation. So the inverse of addition is subtraction. So we must subtract 1 half in order to isolate x by itself. And remember, whatever I do on one side of the equal sign, I must do on the other. So I have to also subtract 1 half from 3 fourths. That leaves me with x equals whatever 3 fourths minus 1 half is. To do that operation, we must first have like denominators. So we turn 1 half into fourths by multiplying the numerator and denominator by 2, which gives us 2 fourths. Now we can do 3 fourths minus 2 fourths, which gives us 1 fourth. So that leaves us with x equals 1 fourth. All right, next example. 3.75 equals n minus 1.2. First, we see that we have subtraction happening in the equation. So we must do the opposite or inverse operation of addition. So we add 1.2 to both sides of the equal sign to cancel out minus 2. Now, when adding decimals, we must make sure to line up our decimal points before adding. And we can add a 0 as a placeholder here. Now we can add and we get 4.95 equals n. Next example. 2.2x equals 4.4. Whenever we have a number touching a variable like this, we know that multiplication is happening. So we must divide to solve this equation. So we divide by 2.2 on both sides of the equation and we're left with x equals 2. All right, last example. One half equals m divided by five. Since we're dividing our variable, we must do the opposite or inverse, which is multiply. So we multiply both sides of our equation by five, canceling out the dividing five. Now to multiply five times one half, we write five with the denominator of one. Then we multiply both numerators and both denominators to find our answer. 5 times 1 is 5, and 1 times 2 is 2, so we get 5 over 2, or 5 halves, and we're left with 5 halves equals m. So remember, to solve one-step equations, you always have to do the inverse or opposite operation of both sides of the equal sign to find your solution. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace out.